I did a video last year that we've posted on YouTube. It was a video around diversity where I talked about my own story. So Martina saw that video and her agent actually contacted me saying she was really impressed by it, which I was quite humbled. And uh, she said she would like to come and speak at HSBC. Well, I'm speaking to the people at HSBC about diversity. It's something that uh, is very important to me as, as an out gate person and a woman. And uh, more and more becomes apparent that diversity is a really good thing for, uh, for companies and it's a good thing for the customers. So that's why I'm here today. I come from a time where homosexuality was still considered an illness, a sickness. Uh, when I came out in 81, uh, I needed to uh, hold off before I got my U.S. citizenship because it would have been a disqualifier. So I kept quiet until I got my citizenship and then I could finally speak out. And it was a negative in some ways. Uh, the crowd didn't warm up to me. I had some boos and, and whistles, etc. The press was hard on me, but at the same time I, I felt kind of liberated. Back then, it was pretty lonely. My mom used to say, why are you the only one, you know, marching? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't see a line behind me. So and when they get in line, then I can, I'm happy to get out of the way. So it was pretty much right after that that I really started working hard and really committed to the game and uh, flourished. Antonio's uh, speech really resonated with me as far as uh, diversity and, again, being, being open. Diversity is a business necessity. Because simple fact that more and more customers want to do business with companies that understand them, companies that uh, have a workforce that represents them, uh, companies that communicates with them. Diversity is really good for productivity within a company and business as a whole. We know that if we find that common ground, if we treat all employees with fairness, with dignity and with respect, everybody wins. Thank you. Well, we've come a long, long way in HSBC. If I think back to when I joined the bank, it was only in 2007. We basically had a bunch of mostly international managers, white, straight, male, gray, and we didn't really have a lot of diversity. We have come a long, long way. We have many more women in the group management board. Uh, it's much more ethnically and na nationality diverse. We have the right policies. We have the right committees. We have a much more meritocratic culture. If you're good, you play. It should just be about how good you are at what you do and you, what you can contribute and everything else should be completely noise and indifferent. Exactly. Which should be allowing you to be the best you can be and value that and promote you for that. that. Have a fair and level playing field, that's all we want. But we can't be complacent because there's still much more work to do from a cultural perspective so that we fight some of the unconscious bias that still exists. The people that don't hide anything about who they are will be much happier employees, it'll be a much happier uh, workplace and better performance and, and better bottom line at the end. So when you don't have to think twice before you say, my partner John instead of Joan, you have more energy to work, you have more energy to be productive, you're happier. So everybody wins. Thank you.